Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh uh, Today I'm going to do a demonstration on how to draw this assignment W2A1 This is the question that you need to do and submit So this is just a simple basic shapes that you need to do using Autodesk Inventor To complete this assignment you need to download the software inventor from the Autodesk website as instructed in the class so this is the dimension that we are we are going to use and I'm going to do a demonstration on how to sketch and extrude uh, this object so first of all you need to open up the software Autodesk Inventor I am using the 2022 version so click new and then click standard and click create so this is the basic interface of Autodesk Inventor. On the top side, you have the 3D model, sketch, annotate, inspect, tool, manage, view, environment, get started, collaborate on console, multi-physics. The menu that you have might be a little bit different compared to me because I installed several additional modules for my use. So in this example, we are going to start with sketch. In creating a 3D object, the first thing that we need to do is to sketch it first. Click sketch and make sure you choose start 2D sketch. Once you click 2D sketch, you will be represented with three options. The XY plane, YZ plane and XZ plane. The easiest one is to click for X and Y plane. So the drawing will be on the XY plane. And please pay attention on the model 3 over here. There will be sketch 1. For this assignment, you only need to have one single sketch. So referring to the image that we have. So we are going to, to draw the right part of the drawing. And then we are going to convert into a complete part. Click line. And start from the center but before you start go to tools document setting and then change the units to mm and the mass to kilogram please make sure that all assignment that you did in this class the length is in millimeter and the mass is kilogram then click apply and close so you can see at the bottom right of the screen <clears throat> the length is already in mm so click sketch again and select line start at the center when you bring the cursor at the center you can see that there is a green dot over there meaning that when you click the line will be at the center so when you click drag it to the right and then using your keyboard uh, key in the, the value 167 divided by 2 and then press enter so we get here around 75.3 <coughs> sorry 83.5 right click and press ok so if we want to pen the, the drawing you need to use the scroll button on your mouse click the scroll button and you can move around like this uh, scroll in to zoom and then another scroll to zoom out so what we are going to do now <coughs> I'm going to draw the second part using this line function select spline once spline is selected go to the end of the line that we draw just now it, it might be a little bit difficult to see because the line that we draw is on top of the uh, axis click over here one somewhere over here two and three and then click okay so this is the first line you can still change this the shape with this circle uh, shape over here to to adjust the spline according to shape that you prefer then the next step we are going to draw the upper part again select the function spline and click 
at the end of the line spline over here make sure that the, the cursor is green one two three four five six then this one is a little bit high seven then click okay uh, the shape of this spline uh, is up to you how do you want to do it but for me i think this one should be okay if you look closely we have draw the right part of this drawing what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to take this the right part and try to generate the whole part of it using the function mirror so on the sketch tab select mirror this is the function mirror create a mirror copy of a sketch across an axis click mirror click select and select the component that want to be mirrored and select mirror line the mirror line should be over here but i don't think i draw the line yet so click uh, cancel over here go to the line function draw a line from top to bottom and then ok click on this line and then right click and select construction when you select construction you can see that the line change into a dotted line meaning that this is not this will not be used as the final object but as a guide for you to draw the complete product so and then go to mirror select the component that you want to mirror and then mirror line is the dotted line you can see that now the dotted line turn into green and then click this one and click applied you can see that when you click apply automatically the other half of this 3d object will appear automatically so click done so the, the, the rest is just to draw the circle uh, with 50 millimeter radius just put here four or five size should be okay it's depend on how do you want it right click okay uh, this one are just to move so it looks better okay now once you feel satisfied with the drawing we are going to extrude this is what we call sketch when you finish you feel satisfied with the sketching click finish sketch okay it looks like i forgot i forgot one line over here so now i need to go back into the sketch click the front on the cube on the top right click front and then go to this sketch when you put your cursor on this sketch everything will turn green meaning that you are selecting the right sketch double click on the icon now you are in sketch mode click line then you need to put a line over here which i forgot to do it just now like that and then click finish so the next step is to click on 3d model and click extrude and then this window of properties will pop out but using your cursor select which area that you want to extrude and the one that you want to extrude is the area that selected in green so click this one and select the distance of 40 40 mm and click ok so click the button home over here you can see that uh, the thing the sketch which was a 2d object just now has been extruded into a 3d object so this is how you do your assignment uh, it might look a little bit simpler compared to the question but i think this one is acceptable so i hope you can try the assignment and get familiarize yourself with this function of autodesk